we're doing something a little bit different today. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Friday, I hope you've all had a great week and have a great weekend ahead of you. I am here with a little bit of a review of the latest Disney magazine series. I have previously collected magazine series in the past. My dad recently collected the Marvel Figures magazine collection. My mum and I collected the Disney Baking magazine collection and the latest one is the Disney Dolls Dollhouse magazine collection. Now when I first heard about this I saw an advertisement on the television. I thought this would be great for my new emos. However having bought number one I don't think it will be but we are quickly going to go through it. Why I don't think it is, what I think it would be good for, the issues I have with it in today's video so let's get started so my mum got this for me from tesco this is a weekly magazine my dad's marvel figures were fortnightly so i think this would be very expensive but i will get into the cost in a little bit i did think it would be good for my new emos but as you can see magazine one comes with a little armchair which would not be big enough for my new emos it would barely be big enough for the squish fill that my new emos have so it won't work for my new emos but it is really cute and i wanted to show you what you get and talk you through the subscription process so if i just rip this off its backer so as you can see issue one was 199 and it is made by hatchet paperworks on the back it's got a picture of the completed house and it does say don't miss issue two in two weeks but when you get to the subscription page it does say that it's weekly so i think it's just giving you time to get one and two and then it goes to weekly i will be getting number two because as you can see it comes with this little mickey figure and i would like the mickey figure but i'm not going to take it further and i'll discuss why a bit later so it says here mickey donald peter pan cinderella winnie the pooh and all their friends are brought together in this beautiful doll's house each of the 10 rooms are inspired by classic disney films with furniture accessories figurines and many more details to decorate the house every week create the doll's house step by step with disney magic so it says celebrate the magic of disney in every room it's 1 to 20 scale to show stunning details each room's decoration is influenced by the original Disney film it represents. Magical accessories and decorations will fill each room. It has high quality parts and finish, and it's inspired by the detailed doll's house which is on display in the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. Now, I don't doubt that. I haven't seen it for myself. It does make me want to collect it more. The price really puts me off, so I will get onto that. So it's 120 scale, it's 800 millimeters by 750 millimeters. So you just know that it's not big enough for my new emos. I couldn't tell that by the advert, so I'm glad I've got the magazine to make sure. It's got 10 rooms, which is Donald Duck's playroom, Peter Pan's children's room, and Beauty and the Beast tea room on the top floor. Then you've got the Little Mermaid's bathroom, the Aristocats music room and Cinderella's bedroom on the middle floor. And then on the ground floor, you've got Mickey Mouse's living room, a frozen hallway, and Alice in Wonderland's kitchen. And then there's a Winnie the Pooh's basement. So they have picked some very popular films and also kind of niche because the Aristocats getting their own room is something I really, really like. It says it has easy assembly and there will be helpful tutorial videos on their YouTube channel to help you build them. But the magazine, if I remember rightly from the baking, always takes you through it as well. I find things that are really small to be far too fiddly to build, but since it won't work for my new emos, it's not really worth me getting anyway. And the kicker is that the model will be complete in 120 issues, so remember that for later. So here's what you get with issue 1, you get an armchair and then you get the pieces to build two doors. So that's great, you're really making some... Uh, moves with that if i just open the bag you get a magazine and then an awful lot of advertising for it so this is issue one it has these little 
like kind of paper clips so that you can attach it to the binder that you get if you subscribe which again I will go on to. It does have a picture of the completed doll's house and then along the bottom it has build your house with the doors and the chair, the magic of Disney with a beautiful picture of Walt and timeless classics with Bambi. So when you open it up, it has what you've got next week and I was really confused for a second because it says that you get the front doors and we've got the front doors but there are two sets of front doors so this week you get the first set of front doors and next week you get the second set of front doors they're really spoiling you with the first two to be honest but you do get that Mickey figure so I would like to get that so for the first few pages it shows you how to assemble the doors I will try and do it I suppose but you know, I'm not going to have the rest of the house. And then there's a whole page about how Walt really loved miniatures because it was just easier to have a model in front of you to animate from. So I'm definitely going to be reading that. And then there's a feature on Bambi and then the back page is a Mickey Mouse in Steamboat Willy poster. So there isn't an awful lot in the magazine itself. And then there's a whole other magazine that's basically just one big advert. So again, just a picture of what it's going to look like finished. I do like the look of the outside, it's very Disneyland Hotel and then it opens up to show you the inside in a bit more detail. I would like to point out that I love this like tray of cakes from the Alice in Wonderland's tea room so if that came as like one magazine then I'd get it. And then it shows you that every single week it will be an assembly guide, the magic of Disney and a Disney classic film that it goes through. And then on to the thing about subscriptions. Issue 2 is the one I'm going to get that has the rest of the doors and the Mickey figure. Issue 3 has some Pooh Honeypots, but I already know that they're not really the right size for my Nuemo, so I'm not going to be tempted by that. But here's where it like kind of shows you what you get for free when you subscribe. So with your first delivery, you will get issue 3 for free and you will get a cutting mat. Honestly, that puts me off. It takes so much precision to do things like this and I'm not very precise, so it just wouldn't work out for me. You get a collection binder with your third delivery. You get house accessories with your fifth delivery, which looks like a clock, a sombrero, the Donald Duck's playroom, some Parisian photo frames for the Aristocats room and a bucket and a mop from Fantasia. And then on your seventh delivery you get Minnie and Daisy but they do say that if you get the premium subscription you will receive 10 exclusive Disney figurines which is the Frozen Sisters, Beast, the Mad Hatter, Piglet, Cheshire Cat, Goofy, Pluto and Toulouse and Berlioz. So I hope that means you get Marie because I would really love to lose some Berlioz but not enough to pay these prices which I will get onto now. So week one was $1.99, week two which is out two weeks later is $6.99 and then every week thereafter it is $9.99 if you buy it from the store or if you have the standard subscription which would work out to $39.96 per month. However, if you go up to the premium subscription which is $10.99 per month or $43.96 per month, that is when you get those 10 figures. So you've got to pay that little bit extra over the 120 issues to be able to have those figures. And to me, like £40-45 a month for 120 weeks, which is like two years, to finally make a doll's house is just way too much commitment for me and also way too much money. Obviously, as you know, I am collecting the Mickey Mouse Collectors Club this year, which if you didn't see my review of the January plush, I will leave a card above. And I'm also hoping to collect the Mickey Mouse The Main Attraction. That is already looking to be at least £60 a month for me if I only get the two plushes. Like I also said, this is not big enough for my Nuemos. I would probably need a Barbie sized dollhouse to be able to fit my new emos because the car I got them was a Barbie car and I've also got them things like Barbie sofas and things because certain Barbie things will fit. The Barbie clothes won't fit but anything that has to be tall enough for Barbie because of her long legs will work for a new emo basically. So I think for the money that you're spending like £40-45 a month over two years you could buy 
a doll's house for much much cheaper than that you could just buy Disney figures from the Disney store and you know DIY some things in the home to make it look more Disney I don't think it's worth tying yourself to such a big commitment that is you know over two years and so expensive because you never know what will happen you know like you could not afford it by this time next year and you've already bought half of it and it doesn't make even half of the house things like that so the figures are all i'm really interested in but there is no way that i'm going to subscribe to get them as you know the aristocats is in my top three but i'm sure i could just buy some aristocats figures on ebay instead rather than tying myself to this at least when we did the disney baking one you got things like cookie cutters and stuff that you could just use on their own there was a whole thing about needing all of the magazines to be able to make this castle cake or something like that but we didn't do that we ended up just like using the cookie cutters and the icing nozzles and things but i will find a home for this little chair i'm not entirely sure what will sit on it because the figures aren't even poseable so the figures wouldn't sit on it it's too big for wishables it's too big for nuemos it's small enough for squishville but i would like it to be a disney plush that sits on it but it is an adorable idea it's just not for me and that's completely fine nothing is for everybody i certainly know that plush collecting is not for everybody as some people like to remind me but i just wanted to show you something that disney are doing at the moment that might take some people's fancy as it's a nice little craft experiment to do to keep you busy but i think i would either fall behind or get frustrated having to wait a week every single time but that is it from me i really hope you enjoyed this slightly different video basically just reviewing whether something was worth it for my new emails which it isn't because it's too small if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below whether you would be interested in something like this i will be back on tuesday for more of my squishmallow collection so hopefully i will see you then have a great weekend friends and i will see you on tuesday bye